Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a Magnetic Excursion Update Monday, October 13th, 10 p.m. Mountain Time, 2025. The South Atlantic anomaly is weakening and has almost doubled in size in just the last nine years. We've got a lot to talk about. Flooding rains in Pagosa and major river spikes coming. Keep calm. It's boom time. Flood warnings continue through Wednesday for southwest Colorado, and there have been evacuation orders issued due to flood risks in downtown and on Lower Blanco. Yeah, the fire stations came here just an hour ago asking us to evacuate, but we declined and we are still here. Conditions may become life-threatening for many people on Lower Blanco on our road, but not for us. We are eight foot above the river, and it's really never gotten that high. But other people, are their houses are three and four feet above the river, and they are underwater right now as the waters rise, and they will be peaking tonight due to two to four more inches of rain expected. And the flood threat is not gone. Uh, the San Juan has now reached minor flood stage, is supposed to peak at major flood stage in the next four hours. Rex Bear is on scene, so hopefully I'll get some data there from him. Dozens rescued, several still missing, after a monster storm brings violent wind gusts and record storm surge to western Alaska. It doesn't look good there, folks. Rescuers in western Alaska are working to find missing residents and help those displaced after ferocious hurricane-forced winds inundated towns. And wow, it just continues. More flooding expected along the east coast as a powerful nor'easter batters the area. The National Weather Service Prediction Center said the storm is carrying strong onshore winds, high surf, and, well, astronomical tides and you can see people walking through those astronomical tides right there like swimwear nor'easter slams the east coast prompting states of emergency power outages and travel disruptions let's take a look at the state of the power wow there's jersey shore flooding closing major roadways oh and businesses they are certainly underwater. Power outage U.S. showing that the Northeast is recovering nicely. Far more power outages earlier this morning. Just 50,000 across the U.S. And most of them are in the West Coast. And they've changed their entire format and I do not like it. We've got Tropical Storm Lorenzo churning around the Atlantic. It's forecast to make a hook pattern and head directly out into nowhere. So no one is affected by this. Good news there. And all of the flooding rains are due to tropical storms that have come on into uh, Baja and up into the Four Corners, and we've got another chance of that, 50% chance of cyclone formation in just seven days. And now the full forecast. East Coast storm, heavy rain and flooding in the southwest U.S. It's like that, folks. Typhoon remnants are impacting Alaska as well, and we just reported on that. A coastal storm continues to bring heavy rain, coastal flooding, high surf, dangerous rip currents, and gusty winds to the East Coast. Into early Tuesday, a heavy rain and flash flood risk continues for the southwest Four Corners region with lingering tropical moisture through Monday. Well, it's actually been extended to Wednesday. Typhoon remnants are causing strong winds, heavy rain, coastal flooding across western Alaska. And, well, it's, it's not looking good. Let's take a look at the total accumulated precipitation. As we move it through here, we're gonna be seeing more flooding rains in just the next three days. This is the last thing we need in the desert. Well, we need it in the desert Southwest, but we don't need it all in just a few days. Changing over to uh, snow and rain. Let's take a look and we'll move it through here. Here's Monday, Tuesday, and in just a few hours that that coastal threat here in New England will be moving offshore. 
Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, a little snow event in the Rockies. Saturday, Sunday. By Sunday, we have another what appears to be an atmospheric river entering the Pacific Northwest, and that's going to bring heavy snow to the northern Rockies. Good news there. Total accumulated precipitation is going to be epic, oh, but what I really wanted to look at was total snowfall. And here we can see those snor storms piling on. The first major impact to the Sierras this season, uh, two to three feet of snow by the by October 15th. That's just in the next two days. And so lots of ski resorts opening by the end of October, clearly, based on these models. Delhi shivers as early Himalayan snow builds in a major way. Take a look at that jiffy below us. Delhi's minimum has slipped below 20C for the second day. Running as cold air builds unusually across the north, the chill follows exceptionally early snowfall across the Himalayas, where peaks have been blanketed far earlier and more extensively than in recent years. Space weather, quick look there. Flaring has been continuing for the last 24 hours up into the low-level M range, uh, and we are waiting on a coronal mass ejection that was ejected off the sun here, actually cannibals on the 11th and the 12th. It's a one-two punch. They're going to reach each other, and they may hit Earth as a direct blow on the 17th. So we're keeping a close eye on that. Now, what's going on with the South Atlantic anomaly? It's growing in a big way. Look at this huge, weak field region. That's a quarter of the Earth. And still, the mainstream is quiet on the current magnetic excursion, as you would exact, uh, expect. Swarm reveals growing weak spot in the Earth's magnetic field using 11 years of field measurements from ESA Swarm Satellite Constellation. Scientists have discovered that the weak region in Earth's magnetic field over the South Atlantic, known as the South Atlantic Anomaly, has expanded by an area nearly half the size of continental Europe since 2014. What does that mean? Well, it means that we are continuing to head to the bottom of a magnetic excursion, which we could reach the bottom in just a decade, maybe the next 20 years, but that is bad news for all biology on Earth. The moon is cozying up to Jupiter tonight, but we'll have no chance to see it here. It's going to be raining continuously for the next several days. But if you live in an area without rain in the morning, well, at midnight, the moon will rise on the eastern horizon and will be cozying up with Jupiter just a small, well, really close. Just hours past the last quarter phase is the moon. It will rise above the east-northeast horizon shortly before midnight local time. Shining about six degrees to its right will be Jupiter in an amazing, well, cozy up. And that's a boom to knowledge. Hit the thumbs up. Share this video and be safe. We've got lots of flooding concerns. The, f <laughs> the sheriffs just came around evacuating everyone. Uh, everyone in low-lying regions here have been evacuated. The rain is continuing outside. There will be a, a crest tonight at midnight. There will be another crest tomorrow about six to seven hours later, and I'll be down there to report on it. So stay tuned for the boom as we report live on the historic 100-year flooding in Pagosa Springs. Be safe. We love you, and that's a boom. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. No, no, no.